Hello YouTube, A7X Rap Raccoon, A7X here with a Ultimate Rare Collection uh, video for you guys as well as uh, cards I have for trade. First going to show you some cards I got from my friend since he quit Yu-Gi-Oh. First, first off we have two jump promos which I always think are awesome to have even though they get reprinted. I have the Wicked Eraser and Exodius the Ultimate Forbidden Lord. None of these are going to be for trade. I also did get a couple Ultimate Rares. You'll see those in the binder. And I still cannot find that deck box in which I have other cards for you guys. Like Seven Sword of... No. I, for I, for I forgot that Seven Sword card from um, Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. You know, there's a Mecha Phantom Beast in there as well. I think there was one other card. I forget what it was, though. Oh, I know. Never mind. The other two was Noble Arm, the new Noble Noble Arms, and then an ulti ra Ultimate Rare Gaul Shaved. But um, I did find my two Atrogiuses, so I only need one now. That made me happy. And I finally figured out Vylons, so... <laughs> yeah. Cannot wait to make those. I'm not sure what I still need from that yet, so they're not going to be in my wants list as of right now, but I will update it when I do now. And I did get my first Ghost Rare. I'm kind of sad it's not a Warrior, and I'm kind of sad I didn't pull it, but it is an awesome Ghost Rare, and I always, I always wanted this card as a holographic. And he still looks like a Warrior. And that is Gors, the Emissary of Darkness. I absolutely love uh, how this card looks. And our Ghost Rares just looks so awesome, too. Love the 3D effect on it. So there's a good look at it. Then I got two Gaga Ga Girls, if I ever do make a Gaga Ga deck. I got three Bubble Bringers, two of them are first dead. Like I said, none of these are for trade. Got a Dimensional Prison, Battle Fader. Finally got an English Ultra Guy the Fierce Knight from Legend of Blue Eyes. Too bad it's not first dead though, but that's still fine. I really needed this for my Warrior collection. Khmer Tech Fortress Dragon, Solidarity. And you can never have too many MSTs, so I got four of them. <laughs> and then uh, by Corn of Heaven. And then I do have some Vanguard cards for trade. I can trade Yu-Gi-Oh cards for these. I really don't care. I just want to finish my Constellar and Phylon. I I mean, I just want to finish my Constellar deck as soon as possible. And then, um, I also do have... And then after this, going to do a deck profile for you guys on Rock Stuns. Even though this says Wind-Ups. <laughs> it's Rock Stuns in here. It even has a side deck, which I never use side decks, but... Hey. <laughs> Maybe I won't know. I don't know. It is a fun deck, though. Uh, so I have a Mirror Demon. I have more Vanguard cards, but these are, like, I think the better doubler or high, higher I have. Uh, Paralyzed Madonna, which is the, which is the perfect guard, or Sentinel, as if, whatever you want to call them, for uh, Mega Colony. Gush Jin for your Grand Blue players out there. And then uh, Crimson Beast Tamer. I've had these for such a long time. I've been trying to get rid of them. Anywho. Um. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> that was hilarious. Okay. Let me. Just regroup here. That was funny. And here are my cards for trade. That I could find. So I do have a rabbit. I wish I found that box though. Because I also had a tour guide. Shockmaster, Hanzo, well, Hanzo, yeah. I think another rabbit, I'm not sure though. I think I put the, I know I got two from my friend. But I think I took the one from the tin, put it in my Constellars, and I think, yeah. And then the other rabbit I got from my friend Rob is also in my Constellars. Whew. Excuse me for my yawn. <laughs> anyway, Zen Mains, I feel like nobody uses this card anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. Volcasaurus, thought I was going to use it, never did. Never used Freeze Dot either. Here's Goldrad. I don't really collect number monsters either, so. 
Now I have another spell book. Yeah, there it is. I have two spell book of lifes. I have a spirit converter, advanced dark, and I'm not sure where my miracle t contact went uh, was, but um, I remember I did an opening. I didn't post it on YouTube though, because it was kind of a bad recording. But I opened, I think, f three or four Return of the Duel special editions, and I got the three were secret rares, and most, and I think I got. Th I think all of my promos were Acid Golem. Bought those at Target a long time ago. Well, a while ago. Temperance of Prophecy, DD Sprite. Rio Roku Field, really old card. Uh, Evie Gishki, Levy, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not even going to bother. Uh, Dual Terminal Rekindling. Divine Wrath, Super Dust Tornado, which I was really thinking of keeping, but it's okay. Uh, Gemini Imps. Now, this is a card I had for a long time. This is from an Elemental Energy Booster Box opening, which I still really want to upload, even though it's, like, two years old now. But I don't have a deck that really uses Pot of Avarice, and it's pretty awesome how I have a Super Rare First Ed from its original set, so I'm like, might as well trade it. Hopefully, I can get good stuff for it. And then Scrap Iron Scarecrow, which really... Ticked me off with somebody used this at locals. See so of keeping my dual terminals, but those I can probably trade for stuff I really need right now. And then here's my ultimate rare collection binder. As you guys know, I collect ultimate rares and I organize these by sets. The only bad thing about organizing by set is when you get new ultimate rares. It's kind of a pain to put it back in because you have to take all of them out of the binder and then reorganize them by set, but it's still good. Sorry if I sound weird. It's allergies. Anyway, let's get started. I don't know what I'm going to put on the uh, front of this. No, actually I do. I was going to put a picture of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Just print it out and paste it on there. And then on the spot here, I wrote Ultimate Rare Collection. Anyway, so we have a Mystic Swordsman level 2. I want a Mystic Swordsman level 4, which is why I have an empty space there. Here's Silent Swordsman level 3 and 5. 7, sadly, is not an ultimate rare. And same with Mystic Swordsman level 6. What do we got? We got a Blade Edge, Feather, Star Feather Shot, which I just found today after looking through that giant Tupperware over there. Uh, D Time. Aqua Neos, Cyber Dark Edge, which I got from Locals, and probably my favorite looking Ultimate Rare, which I got from my friend Rob, is DD Crow. This card just looks sick as an Ultimate Rare. Love the older Ultimate Rares more than the newer ones. And by old, I mean original Yu Gi Oh! to GX. Yeah, that DD Crow looks awesome, though. Glow Neos, Ancient Rules. This was actually my first Ultimate Rare, but. Not this exact card. But it, it, but yeah, I remember I went to FIE. Well, but the one... When I used to go to Closed, sadly. They had all CDs for $9.99 or less, unless they were double disc, Which was awesome, because now they're sort of expensive, and I only buy them uh, when they're on sale or buy them used. Because you could usually get better deals on used anyway. But I bought a pack of Tactical Evolution and... No, not Tactical Evolution. I forgot what Set Ancient Rules was from. S-T-O-N. I forgot what S-T-O-N was. Was it Strike Neos? No. I forgot what S-T-O-N was, but... That's... I got one of those packs and that's what came out of it. Lucky Iron Axe, Aquarian Alessa. I like this card. Uh, Dark Nefties, I got that from Locals. Rose Warrior of Revenge, since I don't run my Equip Warriors anymore, sadly. Sea to Flame, got that from my friend. Agent Fairy Dragon, would love that in Ghost Rare too. Gotems, what else we got? Earthbound Immortal. Um, I don't even gotta bother pronouncing it. Got the Supreme Arcanine from him as well, and I think that's all the Ultimate Rares I got from him. Loki, Nordic Lights, Neos Knight. Hey, look, it's everybody's favorite Dark World. <laughs> no. 
Uh, what should we call it? Oh, no, I got one more from him, actually. Try to make this... Oh, this is what I should have done. I'm stupid. No, I'm just not thinking right. Anyway. Sorry for the glare. So we got Spellbook Magician of Prophecy. I have a lot from Hidden, uh, from Return of the Duelist because I bought a lot of that set because I wanted that ghoster so badly. I didn't get it though. Secrets I originally gave to him because I pulled it from a random... Um, because he was going around prophecies but now he sold them and <laughs> good thing he did. He made a lot from selling. Cause he had big guy and I think two or three two priestess and we got them when they first came out so they were really weren't that much but I bought a random return of the dual special edition and pulled secrets and I originally wasn't gonna give it him I was gonna keep it for my collection but go figure it get it anyway prophecy destroyer thunder spark dragon miss Lind love this artwork I like Mermaid Knight too, though. I wish she was an, oh, I wish she was an ultimate. That's a really old card. I have so many of those as ultimates. Got that from locals. Hard Earth Dragon, Hard Earth. I do have another Hard Earth. Trogius King of Noble Knights. Break their skill. Fred pulled that, which is kind of funny because I was gonna go before him and buy a pack of Lord of Tachyon Galaxy for the heck of it, and he basically just wanted. Tachyon Galaxy for the baby Garunix. And then he pulled out. I'm like, dude, that's such a... I'm, I was thinking this card was like $20, but it was only 8 so... Still own the 8 for that, though. <laughs> Hamstrat. Got that from Locals, too. Scramble, Scramble. That's where Gual Shaved would be if I found it. And, um, we're ballin', because we have an ultimate rare version of ballin'. Uh, I don't know. I think it's pronounced ballin', but here at Locals, we say ballin'. <laughs> Oh god, it's so stupid. <laughs> and then just those three from the tin. Any like promo, any promo ultimate rare again is going to go in the back. So that's pretty much it. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So thank you all for watching. Thumbs up the video. Please check out my watch list in the description. And stay tuned for a Rockstone deck profile. Not going to go too much in depth with it since I'm new to it. But yeah. Anyway, bye YouTube.